A permalink is the permanent URL to your site, blog posts, pages, and so on on your WordPress site. If it's visible, there's a permalink for it. You can configure the basic permalink structure for your site under Settings, Permalinks. You could choose between five preset permalink structures. The options include plain, day and name, month and name, numeric, and post name. And of course, you can also set up a custom structure using 10 different variables that change based on the post metadata and publishing information. Year, month num, day, hour, minute, second, post ID, post name, category, and author. Keep in mind that posts use whatever structure you choose in the settings. Pages, however, will always use the post name option. So let's go through each of these. WordPress uses plain permalinks by default. Not only does this version not include any keywords, it is also identified not only by post ID, but also using a query string. When it comes to day and name, as well as month and name, both of these permalink structures have their uses. Though they tend to be limited for most WordPress site owners, if you run a new site or produce content that is timely, this might work for you. Just know that the date will never change even if you update the post. We don't see the numeric permalink getting a lot of use because it's not very useful. Since it defaults to the post ID variable, it doesn't have SEO juice. And archives being your site's default base for content isn't useful. Post title is far and above the most useful of all, and it's probably also the most widely used. When you create a post, WordPress adds its title as the slug. The custom structure permalink configuration gives you full control over how you want your site to appear. Not only can you use the variables that we listed before, but you can also use static strings. Give this one a look if you're especially keen on custom taxonomies or working as many keywords into a URL as possible. Once you've configured your WordPress permalink settings, the only other thing you need to take care of is making sure that each post has the right slug at the end. The slug is the final part of the URL that shows the individual content identifier, be that keywords or post ID. By default, WordPress includes the entire title of the post as the slug. If you want to change that when you're editing a post, navigate to the permalink meta box to edit it to whatever you want it to be. And there you go. That's how to configure your WordPress permalink settings. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.